Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we are going to be talking about um, what well, Amazon FBA product research for beginners. I'm going to be looking at the UK market, but this is translatable to any market that you look at. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will answer them. Um, if you do stay till the end, I will be giving away one of my FBA product research ebooks, uh, which is a £50 value. So I'm going to give that to one person that comments at the end. So if you want to be able to do that, watch the video and um, give it some likes and all that sort of stuff and I'll let you know in a minute how you can do that. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go on to a website called junglescout.com and there are many websites like this. I just choose to use Jungle Scout because it seems to be the best in my opinion. Um, and this is just a tool that we can use to search products that sell on Amazon. So I'm gonna log in, I already have an account. Um, if you do need to sign up, then just get the light Chrome extension and the um, startup web app and you'll have a page that looks kind of like this. What you need to do is go on to product database. All right guys, so once you have loaded up the product database, which is this little one just here, and what this does is Jungle Scout has, basically Jungle Scout has indexed all of Amazon so they know um, all the products that are selling on there, how much they're selling for, their sales rank, and, and basically all this information that you can see in front of me right here. Now, it automatically is on the US market and you can see you can look at all of the um, different products from all of these different markets, but I'm just gonna go over to the UK one and just over here. Cool, so we're on the UK one, and you, first of all, the thing you can do is just press select all categories, and then we're gonna get rid of a few categories that are restricted or gated. Now, you can sell in these categories if you just get ungated, that's not tremendously hard, um, but for the sake of just looking, then, for example, get rid of beauty, um, car and motorcycle can be gated, but it's very easy to get ungated, so I'm gonna leave that. Uh, clothing, I just don't want to see because it's a pain and it is it is gated. Again, very easy to get ungated. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of DVD, Blu-ray. I'm going to get rid of grocery, that's gated. I don't want to sell in it. Health and personal care, gated. Uh, jewelry, don't want that. Um, shoes and bags, I don't want it. Software, I don't want. And watches is gated as well. Cool, so these are the automotive. I'm getting rid of automotive as well, I don't really want that. So uh, that, that's basically what you can set it for. And over on this side, what you then wanna do is set your, your filters. So um, um, Jungle Scout is gonna look through Amazon and it's gonna find all the products that meet the criteria that we say here. So uh, let's actually lower this. So the price, let's go from 10 pounds Okay, up to 25 pounds. So it's gonna find products between those those two um, prices. I'm gonna go estimated sales. We're gonna actually start at 150 for the UK market, um, just to see what we can find. And reviews, we're gonna say no more reviews than 100. So we, we wanna find sellers that have less than 100 reviews. And again, all these things you can change around. Um, weight, maybe let's put it no more than three pounds. So it's just over a kilogram. Um, so we don't really wanna get anything heavier than that. And if we are getting something that is heavy, it definitely needs to be C-shipped. Product tier, we want standard size because um, when we get charged our FBA fee, we don't want it to be crazy amounts. So standard size. Um, you can exclude and include keywords and stuff like that. And just press search, basically. So that's going to go ahead and find products that meet our criteria. Now, little disclaimer, guys. You're probably not going to find a product straight away, okay? it's not. You're not going to just type in your searches and you know, the first thing is gonna be a product you can sell. It doesn't work like that. It takes consistency. You have to look again and again and again. You have to change around all those parameters so that you can find things that maybe other people haven't found yet. And it's consistency. You need to keep doing this, keep looking because it is ever changing. It's not like this is gonna be exactly the same next week. This, this stuff will be different next week because people sell more, they sell less. Like, you know, they have more reviews, less reviews, all that sort of stuff. Right, so it has found everything that meets our criteria. Um, so there's a few things here. Tennis elbow brace. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna look at that. So I'm just gonna, all I'm gonna do is just hold down command on a Mac and just click. That's gonna open up a new window. The reason I'm liking the look of that is because it's fixing a problem and that makes it very useful for people. Uh, and basically we're gonna go down and we're gonna click things that we could potentially think are good to private label. So that means it's gonna have our product, which is very similar to other people's products, but we're gonna put our label on it. So cooking utensils, um, I don't know what this is. Clipboard, no, that's a bit boring, don't want that. Party rings, no, too big. 
There are lots of people selling glow sticks at the moment. And this, this is just the process, guys. It, it may look a bit boring. Uh, we're not going to sell any Apple Watch stuff. Nothing like that, or general watch watch things. Um, so we're just going to go through this. And yeah, it does take time. And um, you know, if it, was, if it was super easy, then everyone would find their product straight away. But this is just what you're going to have to do. And uh, we're just looking for product. What is that? Okay, we don't want that. We're trying to really stay away from electronics if at all possible. So we can get rid of electronics. So if we get to that point, we think, oh, look, I'm seeing too much electronics. Let's have a look at that. Some, okay, so we've got a few things and this is just rinse and repeat. You know, you might find like 20 different products and you just have to have a look at them. So open them up and then you can see the product. You can have a look at it. This is a pretty good listing to be honest. It's got, yeah, I like this listing. Pretty good. What is that? Is that an is that an ebook? Maybe. Maybe that's an ebook. Very possibly. So we're gonna find this is the first thing we need to do. We need to understand and find what the broadest keyword is. Now, what that means is that when a customer goes onto Amazon, what do they actually search for to find this products product? So what I would say is maybe it's a an elbow brace, I think. Now, if I was doing this listing and elbow brace is the main keyword, it would be first. I wouldn't have my brand name there because no one is searching for your brand name. No one is searching for your brand name. So you want to be able to have your main keyword at the beginning. All we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're searching in all departments. So just go up to the top here, press all departments and just paste in what you think to be the broadest keyword. And this might take a bit of kind of trial and error to find the broadest keyword. Press search and then you will find things. So look, there, there is another one. So elbow support brace, maybe that's what it's called. But these are all looking kind of kind of similar, but they're not quite the same. This is let's okay, tennis elbow brace. Maybe maybe that's going to be the broadest keyword. Because we want to find products that are the same. Okay, cool. So I, this these are all the same products. So for that one, um, now all we do is once we've identified our broadest keyword or the best keyword for that product, you use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. So we've used the web app to find this product. We go over to Jungle Scout Chrome extension, you click it, and then it actually brings up all the listings on this first page and you can see all the information and the data about it. So actually this is a decent product. I'm not gonna lie guys, this is a good product. So, um, and I, I've made a very split, you know, a, a split second decision about that. Let's look into it a little bit deeper to actually find out if it is a good product. Um, so selling price, the selling price is looking good. It looks like we can get up to about 17 pounds. Uh, so that's, that's a different product. What's this one? So that's got a two pack, but again, that's, that's 17 pounds. They're selling, you know, 400 a month. They've got quite a few reviews, but as you can see here, like, yes, it is competitive but it's not tremendously competitive. It's not like, it's not super, super competitive. I think if you got into this product, I don't know, um, a couple of months ago, then they, they, these would have been a lot less. But what you have to do is look at these products that have the high reviews and find out what they're doing well. If they have a good listing, you know, buy one of their products to see if they have an email follow-up sequence. This sort of stuff is going to, basically set you apart from other people. Now, you could potentially go into this product. The only concern I have is a few of these are a little bit low. So again, you would look at those products and find out why they're low. Do they have bad reviews? Are they a different product? So that's a different product. So we're going to discount that one completely. Um, you can even see how long they've been on the market for once you click on their listing. So a few of these kind of four and a bit stars. So you want to find out why they are getting bad reviews and make sure that your product basically doesn't have that same issue. So they're all they're all not, like, like that one's a lot better. Five star review. And they're, they're ranking near the top. So it's pretty good. That's an all round good product. Now there is one thing that is um, kind of show, you know, it, it's, it could be potentially a problem that people are in two different sections in terms of categories. Some of them are in sports and outdoors and some of them are in health and personal care. Now, health and personal care is a gated category. You will need a company, you will need three invoices of products that you already sell on or already sell uh, that you want to sell on Amazon. And um, so you have to go to a wholesaler, buy 
three lots of products that have at least 10 products per invoice and then you send them into Amazon when you try to get ungated and then a few other bits and pieces. I go through this all in my course and uh, for every single um, category, but health and personal care is gated. So you can get ungated. It's not the end of the world, but if you were to sell this product, I would say definitely get ungated in health and personal care beforehand because Amazon chooses what category you are in. If you if you think that it's in sports and outdoors, Amazon then look at your listing, they might move it to health and personal care, in which case they, you, they, you can't move it because you're not ungated in that category. So that is one thing that I would, th it's, a, it's a, um, something you need to think about before you actually kind of dip in and find this product. So I would write this product down, I would keep it, and uh, kind of save it for later if that makes sense and compare it against other things you find. But if you're on that first page, you could probably make 100 sales a month. And if you're making kind of seven pounds profit, which you potentially could do, then it could be it could be a good, good product. So it could be a good product, but we're gonna we'll save that for later. So these ones here, little carabiners. Um, I can't imagine this to be particularly good just from the type of product it is. You can see these people are private labeling it, as you can see there. Um, I would say the light, yeah, the, the broadest keyword is going to be carabiner. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So you see some sponsors, they're pretty cool. So you can see, look, these, are they the same company? Yeah, they're the same company. They're ranked pretty well though, which is good. So again, exactly the same thing. Go up, Jungle Scout extension. And we have a look. Okay, first thing, price is too low. Uh, this wouldn't product. In, this product would not interest me at all. However, however, guys, very low competition. Okay, in terms of competition, that is Goldilocks zone right there. That is just right. Um, sales, pretty good. Not great. Again, this is the UK market. In the US market, like this would be a. Yeah, very, very low sales. In the UK market, you know, if you can make 200 sales and you're making, I don't know, three or four pounds, maybe, you're not, you're not gonna make, like that, that one you might make three pounds. But this is why I would not go into this product, guys, is because the sales price is too low. It's far too low. There's not gonna be enough profit in there at those sales figures to make it worthwhile. If this was 10, 15 pounds, then I would definitely be buying this product, 100%. However, like one, one pound for one, these top sellers, they're selling for 6.99. They're making a, a, you know, a few sales a month, but they're not gonna be making much money on this stuff, guys. It's not gonna be very profitable. If you wanna make 200 to 500 pounds a month, then yeah, go for this product. Um, but if you wanna make more, then I would stay away from it. But in terms of look at those reviews, guys, look at those reviews, that's what you wanna see. If you find a product with those reviews, with, in the UK at least, with sales like this, these are really steady for the first page. Um, and if not more, you'd ideally, obviously, you want more sales. But if the price, if the price was higher, then I would be buying this product, 100%. But let's save it for later. Okay, so we've got some kitchen utensils. Um, kitchen utensils sets. Maybe, it might be just a utensil set. So again, we're gonna do the same thing. Again, I can't imagine this product to be amazing, but we'll, we'll look at it anyway. So that one that we just found is that one that's sponsored. Um, so they're not bad, you know, they're not bad. Let's just, let's open that up. Okay, so selling price a little bit higher, which is good. We've got some coming up, going up to the 25 pound mark. Um, reviews, good, sales, mm, little bit on the low side, not gonna lie. You'd really be looking to make anywhere between 50 and 100 sales a month, so not, not a huge amount. However, that would be incredibly easy to rank. There's only one guy with like 500 um, reviews. Like there's very low competition. Low sales, unfortunately, but good selling price. So if you wanted to get into Amazon and you didn't have much money, so you could only afford maybe 150 or 200 units, uh, this might, you know, it could be a good product. It could be a good product to get you started, but really you want higher sales than this, right? You want, yeah, you, you definitely want higher sales. Um, but again, it's something to look into. You never know. If, if they're getting like, again, this, these are... Um, 
some name brands. Now, I don't know many of these name brands, so you might know these be better than I do, but I know these ones. This is a name brand, which is probably why they've got uh, 500 reviews. Um, but hey, you can even you can go onto Alibaba. You can see if you can find these for like, look, if you can say, for example, this one here, 25 piece set. If you can get that pretty cheap and you can sell it for 25 quid, then it doesn't, you know, if you're making 10 pound profit, then, and you're selling 130 units, you know, you're making um, 1,300 pounds per month. So even though these numbers look not great in terms of the sales, you still can make money. And at the end of the day, we want to make money. Everyone's goals are going to be different with FBA. Um, obviously, we want as high sales as possible, as low reviews as possible, and the highest price possible with the cheapest unit cost. But sometimes you've got to compromise, right? Let's look at the next one. So we've got some, some mouth guards. Now these, I'm not sure if these are private labeled, which is mm, not a great listing either. But um, again, mouth guard is the broadest keyword there. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go ahead and search that. So we've, again, looking at this straight away, the selling price is too low. Yeah, too too low. Like you want to find out what these guys are doing here, the ones that are ten pounds. So if you do don't if you you know if you don't have a lot of money to get started, then um, you can look at this. Um, okay, sales very good. Yeah, we like those sales. That's what you want to see. So if you see any product with these sorts of sales, then uh, that's that's a very good amount. Uh, reviews, we've got three, four, five, six, seven out of the top with over 100. I would say that's gonna be quite competitive. That's too competitive, I would personally say. And price, again, a little bit on the low side. So if there was less reviews, you could you could definitely make a little bit of money on this because these would be super cheap to manufacture. Um, but a low price coupled with you know, high competition means that you're, you're gonna. There's gonna be more competition on PPC, which means it'll eat into profit margin, and there's not much profit margin on this. So I would pass on this one. So what you need to do, guys, as, as to kind of round this up and to give you an idea, you have to spend a week, two weeks, three weeks doing this, and it's like um, you know, it's it's like a muscle you need to train. You need to train your brain to see these uh, trends, to see these opportunities, and the more you do it the easier it's going to get for you and it's easier going to you're going to you know you're going to see what's going to be a viable option or not so take take what i've um, kind of been talking about from this video about sales price about volume of sales about reviews and just start to kind of combine this information so you know these sales here remember they were okay um, but the reviews were amazing so like if you can find ones with these reviews you're onto a winner so like for example these reviews with these sales at uh, kind of this selling price, no, kind of at this selling price, if not this selling price, then you are literally onto a winner. So that's what you're gonna have to look for, and it just takes time, it just takes time. And uh, once you've done that, you need to jump onto Alibaba, which is where you can start finding quotes for these um, suppliers. So alibaba.com, this is gonna be another video, but if you wanna get started, you can go ahead and do that, and you can type in like tennis elbow brace, right? tennis elbow brace, and then you can start to find out how much they're gonna to be to private label. So there's one right there, up to $2. So we can get some quotes from these guys, get you know, 20, 30 quotes, and start to figure out if it's gonna be a good option for you. But that's how you do product research, and there are many, many other methods to do this, but this is one that is probably one of the easiest. It's one of the, it just takes time to do it, um, so yeah, I hope you hope that makes sense guys. If you've got any questions, particularly about the UK market and kind of what sort of things to look for, then feel free to reach out to me. Of course, I have my Amazon course, which is specifically for the UK, which is the first link in the description. If you really want to you know, understand this stuff in depth, I have, I think it's an hour and a half to two hours just on product research because it is the most important thing. And um, you don't, you know, this isn't the only thing you have to look at. There are many things you have to look out to look at to find uh, to find out if your product's gonna be a winner or not. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video of just me trying to find products, right? Just trying to find products. And 
So guys, I said I'm gonna do a giveaway. If you do leave a comment down below just saying, yes, I want free stuff, then um, I will uh, pick a winner who's gonna get one of my FBA ebooks. So it's a product research ebook. It's kind of a starter's guide to product research to help you get started with all this sort of stuff. I'm gonna give that away uh, for one person in the comments, so make sure you do that. Don't forget that I'm giving away an Apple Watch um, for the, in the, I think it expires in the next three days. Uh, I'm gonna post the video in the description. Again, you have to go watch that video if you wanna do that. If you're watching this past, I think it's the 5th of November, then unfortunately that has been given away already. But thank you for watching this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if it's been useful and valuable for you. Obviously, leave a comment if you wanna win some free stuff. Or just leave a comment with any questions if you want. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Turn on notifications, especially when I go live, and especially for the giveaways. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.